Today we're going to be going over the final piece of the puzzle. Um, this should probably be part two, because, you know, then you're not watching my running about for ages. So, essentially there's three parts to the tutorial. The first one we covered already, which was what ship to fly, what you should fit, things to consider in the fitting, and then the mission board system, how to use the mission board system, and things to consider in where you're going to be delivering. And then, uh, obviously, I did an uncut run to show I'm not editing the video. I'm not just cherry picking. I just took a random run. I hadn't even logged in for weeks. So, and you saw how much I made. So, there we go. And then the final piece of the puzzle is how do I find a system like this in the first place? So, I'm going to show you what I did to find it. It's actually pretty, pretty easy to do. And they're everywhere. Okay. They're like chocolate chips on the edge of a football, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to just go into the map. And I'm going to show you what I searched for. Because it was really simple. It was really simple. I bet the internet will cut out now. Ha <laughs> ha! Just You will be silenced! But I found that this takes the pressure off of... Um, loss. Because if you lose in Elite, you can lose big. You can lose tens of millions in a death. Sometimes hundreds of millions in a death if you weren't being clever about it. But anyway, right. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out. Okay, now get away from this. We're going to change our filters to Allegiance. Okay. Uh -huh. And we say Allegiance None. These bookmarks are actually getting in the way now. I wish I knew how to turn them off. Can we say hide the bookmarks? Nope. Okay. Right. Well, anyway, let's go to government. And we're going to take off... Show by size, population, we want the small populations. Okay. Now, this is where we are and it's not showing up, so I've still done something wrong. Do, 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 do. Yes, see, we had it on, I'm sure. If it wasn't that, is it economy? Ah, yeah, okay, so economy actually works. I've always said extraction is a good place to start. There we go, extraction, and let's take this slider down. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, to be honest. We don't need the trade route data for this. Okay, so as you can see, we got this spot size here. Now, right, you're going to have to use some imagination because obviously we can see, see there's this edge, black and red, right? So we can go around this edge. Now this edge is the edge of the bubble, all right? So if I was to go to power play, this is all empire, okay? But if I come up here... This is what? Alliance, is it? Is this Alliance or Federation? It's hard to tell. <laughs> well, anyway, it doesn't matter. If you're up, up here, okay. Ah, good. Change it to the map, economy, extraction. And look at these. What's this? Coal. Balticus. I'd love to know if that's one. That looks like a candidate because it has a name, okay? It's an extraction and its state is none, all right? So if this had a Coriolis station, this would be a nice place to go. 360 light years means I'm probably not going to go there anytime soon myself because I'm on the other side of uh, the habitated area. But this would be a good candidate I mean, I would, I would, if I was in, in this area of space, I would definitely fly to that station. Um, there's another one, Maritarini, okay, extraction, independent, you know, but I don't have the system data. 
I wish I could buy it because be able, I'd be able to tell you straight away. Jurok isn't quite far enough out. Okay, but it's still independent. So let's take a look. This one has a system map. So let's see if it has a Coriolis. So any, all of these that we were looking at look good. So yeah, look. Oh, look. Zettel Colony. So that station would be worth checking if you're in that area of space, okay? So if I now go back to the uh, map again, and this time we'll look for somewhere on a different part. See, all it is is you go to the edge of space. So where the colonies end, where the stations end. So it's your last chance saloon before you get into the desert that is uninhabited space, okay? Um, so, or the big black, whatever you want to call it. And so all I've done is I've literally gone map, economy, extraction, filter it for smaller populations so that you can actually see the, you know, this is a large one. And then I'm not going for the randomly generated names. Like, I mean, like numbers. It's like letters and numbers I'm avoiding. And I'm going for something with a name, like this one, Chin Yain. Um, there is another cross filter, but I must admit I've actually forgotten what the cross filter is off the top of my head. It was, I think it was like um, Allegiance None or something like that, because you can see that this one is actually allied now. So... Obviously, that doesn't work. Ah! Alliance Independent? No. I, uh, it was a government? Government anarchy? No. Hmm. Anyway, economy extraction seems to be good. And you just follow it around the edge. And as you can see, there's, there's buttloads of these things. They're everywhere. Just got to find one. I mean, it might take you a couple of visits. And the payout isn't very good for the first hour or two. But an hour or two will still earn you 10 million credits. Even at the low pay. So, you know, if you want to take the pressure off your credit balance. And actually have some fun with this game. Buy some fancy ships. Get out and do some risky stuff that you probably would never have dreamt of. Because you don't want to lose all your progress. I know a lot of players like that. Um, you know, they've spent so long earning their ship that if they lost it, they'd be screwed. So th obviously they're not that willing, you know, to risk it all. So like I say, let's look at the power play real quick. And we will find someone in the Federation. So say, say Felicia Winters. Show me the headquarters for Felicia. So here she is at Rhea. So I'm guessing for her, if I was now to switch the map over, zoom and go up. Yeah, her stuff is going to be on top rather than on the side. So it's a bit more difficult to find. But look, if we just move the map about, you can see. You see this? This is as high as it goes. Okay. Now this one, Glees 460 HP, let's see if we can find one with a name. Uh, ah, no, it still said 9 comma something. I don't know why it zoomed in like that. Right, Koskerna, what's that? That looks, looks suspicious. State is outbreak. That doesn't sound good. Zua. There's another one. See, I don't have I don't have the system map, and I'm nowhere near it. But I would encourage people to go and check them out and see if there's a Coriolis there, and if there is, check the mission board. So let's see. Have we got any more? Raka, Raka. So this would be a great one. Okay, so in we go. It says Federation though, not Independence. So it's not perfect. See, the, the, the thing is, these people, there's no Coriolis here, so this is no good. What it is, is they have a station and they're extracting, but they're so far out that there's no trade routes. And so they're desperate for people to come and ferry their goods and sell them on the market. And they'll pay over the odds for that, for that to happen, because they need the money, you know. So that's what you're looking for. Aha! 
Guess what? O'Donnell Orbit. Independent. 403 light seconds is a bit of a bit of a. It's not, it's not that bad. That's that's less than a minute, I think, actually. So. Yeah. So that that there is another place I would go and check out. Okay. Now, I mean, I'm trying to show people how to do this so that it's not like, oh, I'm here. Where's a place near me? Because they're everywhere. They, they're, line, they're lining the habitated bubble. So no matter what direction you fly in, no, ma no matter where you are, okay, I could just go and pick a different faction, okay? So let's go Zachary Hudson. Okay, Zachary Hudson. Show me the headquarters. Oh, God, he's right in the middle. <sighs> so he's not so good because <laughs> he's surrounded by other power play. You want to be um, around the edge of the circle, you see, that is where people are. So let's try Zemina, Zemina Torval. Show me the headquarters. So she's down the bottom-ish, sort of. My god, this is a mess. Right, so... Yeah, yeah. She's in the middle as well, so... That's a mess. That's just a mess. Look at it. What the hell? Okay, well, here's me, and you can see there's the bubble. Okay. And obviously everyone in there... You know, they're all factions, like Empire Federation. All right. Jesus, she's got a lot of territory. Oi! No! Oi! Bloody thing. Okay, so there's me. No, wait, that's Maya. That's not me. Here's me. Alright. Uh, at Zendi. Alright. So that's just outside of Empire Territory. So, if I was going to be over here, like to Yila, this would be a, an equivalent area. Oi! I love it when it zooms in on things you not haven't clicked on. It's a great feature. Right, so up here we have to Yila. Okay. So, what we're going to do is switch it over. And there you have it. See, these are on the right on the edge of space. So, Akaw Akawa. Akawa. Independent is in an expansion state. So this is probably a good place to go and pick up some missions right now. Um, and if I put it on Allegiance... As you can see, they're not a li they're not with anyone. They are fully independent. So that's what it was. It was independent extractions, and that shows them a little bit, a little bit more there. And obviously, you go for the ones with a name. So Tujila, Akawas, Varadar. Anyway, uh, Tujila is just inside the controlled space, and I found the further out they are, the better. Okay, because there's one. <coughs> There's another one, Morawai, Morawari. And if I now say map, they're in boom, extraction refinery. That's that's that's. I would say that's that's one that you really want to check out right there. Okay, so they're everywhere. So I wanted to go over that. Okay, they're outside of the power play. Okay, so for example, all these bookmarks, they're all systems which I can do these missions at, and they pay me well. Okay, and I found that Taishishi, Wajadet, but that's a bit different, Wajadet, but Zendi, and Zendi is the best one. Come to view your survey, that's where I'm at right now. <coughs> um... And yeah, that's pretty much all i got to say about that, to be honest. I mean, um, the main tips were 
Um, lose the fuel scoop, use fuel tanks, take mine launchers, advanced discovery scanner, fit for cargo, don't f completely overdo it though. Um, <clears throat> and just really get good at decelerating to dropping into uh, uh, the station's area because otherwise you're going to get caught. Um, and that's it. Rinse and repeat. Listen to your favourite music. And um, within under two weeks, you'll have more money than you need. <coughs> like I say, I did it for 10 days and I had an anaconda, a python and 60 million to just spend on whatever the hell I want. Um, I think now after doing this little demo of the method today, I've just put... I think I've just earned myself about six or seven million. I don't know, um, which is cool. You know, like uh, for example, I wanted to check out that n one of these new ships uh, that I hadn't seen, and so I went and bought myself. What was it? Well, you can buy whatever you want, really. This is the thing. Before, when you were sat there going, "Wow, they're so expensive, all the ships," and then you, they're not actually that expensive. So. Got this Diamondback Scout. It's actually pretty cool. Diamondback Scout, good ship. Um, and then obviously I've got my Anaconda at Chona, which is like... It's for exploration. Super long range Anacondas. I love them. Didn't even, you know, brilliant. And then I think this Eagle has got like extra bits on. I wanted to show them off a while back, so I've still got that Eagle. Um, but there you go. So... Um, yeah, I think I've covered everything. I'm going to take some highlights from the streams today, so thanks for watching. Um, it's a really awkward time of day, so I don't normally stream this time of day, but I'm up a lot earlier these days, so yeah. Um, so yeah, pretty much. <coughs> Weirdness. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope that this will help you to make some money in the game if you weren't already. It's the it's, it's easiest way. It's better than trading. It's better than uh, pirates, bounties. Um, it's better than combat missions. It's better than doing even community goals, unless you're going to win them all the time, which is some stiff competition on community goals. And then uh, it's better than doing the slave runs now. So And, and rare runs. It's more interesting because you go into different places. Um, I think it could be a little bit more difficult, Frontier. Uh, but to be fair, it was much more difficult when I was in my T6. As you get into the Asp, it gets easier. But by the time you're in the Python, it's a little bit too easy. I'm not complaining. Maybe that's the perk of having gone this far with it, you know. But... Uh, <coughs> Bottom line is, I wanted to share that with you because in the first video I did, which was rimming missions, um, I didn't really break it down very well and I was a bit vague on a few points. So I've tried my best to go over it this time. I might have gone on a little bit too much. I might have told you stuff you already know. But these, this is for everyone. I'm trying to make the video for as many people as possible, um, regardless of how many people actually watch it in the end. The information is there. And if people think it's useful, hopefully they'll share it. So, anyway, see you next time, guys.